Okay, so the first thing that I'm not going to be buying is the Laura Lee Cosmetics Nudie Patootie Palette. <sighs> she said that she designed this for all skin tones. And I'm just like, sis, where? This is just like 50 shades of ash to me. Like, they're all the same dusty colors. They're not going to show up on my skin tone. There would be no point literally in me buying this. It would only be for like the three shimmer shades, which I already own in my collection. I think I have ColourPop single shadows that look exactly like that. And um, no, sis, like no. First of all, watching her launch video, I was so like anxious because I just felt like, I just felt like her video was all over the place. So it made me feel all over the place. And just looking at the colors, looking at her, like swatching them, they just look ashy. They're not going to work for me. I already own like Morphe 350s and like 3502 and like all of those palettes which every single one of these ash shades are in so it's just like a waste of my time. You know what I mean? So no. So the next thing that I'm not going to be buying is the Urban Decay Beach Palette. Another nude basic palette. If you take away the two blue shades, like if you take away those two blue shades you literally just have a basic like naked palette. How many basic eyeshadow palettes are we going to get with like a pop of color like and a pop of color is always like either a blue or a purple or like a fuchsia like girl you know how many pop of color eyeshadow palettes i have like i don't need another one urban decay it needs to chill out basically if you take away the blue shades you have the naked like the naked ultimate basics palette i feel like a mini version of it what's the point there is no point so i'm not gonna buy it Okay, so the next thing that I'm not going to be buying, don't come for me, please. Like, please, just hear me out, is the Fenty Beauty Body Lava and the pom-pom um, situation. Before I get attacked, let me just say, I am obsessed with the product. Like, I think it looks so beautiful on the skin. Gorgeous. Like, I'm all about a dewy glow. You guys, you know, you know, you know, right? But the Body Lava is $59. $59 and then the pom-pom is $42 I'm sorry I will just go ahead and keep taking my Jackie Anna LeBron's loose powder mixing it with some baby oil gel and popping that on my skin like I've been doing because that is literally the same effect like sis sis I'm not paying $60 for your name like I'm sorry but no okay moving on next on the list is the Kerry Washington and Neutrogena collab can we talk can we talk girl what is this no like literally what is this the eyeshadow palette is like six different ashy browns the contour blush highlight I'm looking at it and I'm like I know people can look darker maybe on TV but I just there, like there's no way she can use this I'm genuinely confused because when I heard she was collabing with the brand at first I was like okay cool like you know they're gonna have like some black girl influence maybe they'll come out with some like better stuff this is ashy like she's gonna look ashy I want to see the campaign photos let's see how this looks on her before like I'll buy it because I'm genuinely just like confused about how this bronzer would work for her skin tone like since I'm bored, let's move on. Next on my anti-haul list is the <sighs> Tarte Cosmetics and Aspen Ovard eyeshadow palette. I love Aspen, okay? Me and my girl Christina love Aspen. Like, Aspen and Parker, they're so cute. Like, I've been following her for a hot minute. But first and foremost, Tarte is canceled. Second of all, the eyeshadow palette is basic as all basic can be like it i first of all i don't even watch aspen for her makeup videos because she doesn't really wear makeup like that so for her to be coming out with an eyeshadow palette i was i was genuinely confused like genuinely confused <laughs> again another basic eyeshadow palette like if you're looking for an everyday eyeshadow palette i guess but i'm pretty sure you already have one like there's no need for another one of these basic nude brown couple of gold champagne shimmers maybe a rose gold because they're feeling spicy like oh let me let me throw something else in there for them but 
no like i'm over the boring palettes like give me something fun give me something exciting like do something different first of all tarte comes out i feel like they come out with the same things over and over and over and over again like i'm bored i'm bored like why is everybody boring me like is it me is it me or is this eyeshadow palette boring it can't do me leave a comment down below if you're bored because i'm bored so next up on my list is the maybelline lemonade craze eyeshadow palette again with the boring nude palettes and pops of color so if you take out the lemonade craze pop that out you have a basic brown gold tan eyeshadow palette again um, and then they have like a little splash of strawberry in there boom so take out those two shades what do you have a normal everyday palette right and then I don't know like this just doesn't scream like lemonade to me i would feel like i would need maybe like more of a vibrant yellow or like you know like a blue like kind of like pool water just something summery like when you think lemonade craze you just think of summery colors you know bright like i think of bright vibrant like the nyx vivid bright liners like those type of colors to me i feel like would make sense in a lemonade craze eyeshadow palette because without this one shade you could call it anything like it wouldn't have to be called a lemonade craze eyeshadow palette because that's literally the only yellow and it's more of like a mustard this palette looks really fall to me it doesn't even look spring summer so it's a no for me sis okay so next on my list is the kylie and court um pink and blue eyeshadow palettes so the pink eyeshadow palette is just nude shimmers and a nude peach the blue eyeshadow palette is just your classic like dark brown warm brown and then your two gold shades i have these the green palette i might i might get just because it has that burgundy and the green in it which you know i really feel like it's from her holiday palette because they're the exact shape they look to me like the exact same shades in it but i really think those are really really pretty colors and then i would i would definitely use them so that i might get i'm not i'm not putting that in this but the pink and the blue palette is just like a no for me that is it for my anti-haul video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave and i'll see you guys in my next video bye